exotic matter and the future of faster than light travel. This is the topic of discussion in today's lecture. Faster than light travel. In short, this is called uh, faster than light FTL. Right? Instead of using faster than light, uh, the abbreviation FTL is normally used. So here we are talking about uh, exotic matter and faster than light travel. Actually, if we want to go for the calculation of faster than light travel, then you would uh, realize the requirement of exotic matter. Means actually, physics have found so. Okay, you know that according to uh, Einstein's theory, uh, that uh, nothing can move faster than the speed of light in vacuum. In vacuum, the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, and which is considered as the maximum possible speed. Okay, and nothing can move faster than that speed or that velocity, right? So that is the concept. Again, there is a, you know that uh, general theory of relativity, that, uh, that theory is also present. That uh, theory also belong to, belongs to Einstein. And according to that theory, what we can know is that uh, uh, the presence of mass and energy can bend or work the space-time around it. The bending is more or the warping of the space-time is more if the mass is more. Means in case of massive masses, the bending or the warping of the space-time is more. So these are known theories. Okay. And this theory is known as general theory of relativity. And, and again, you, in science fiction, you have seen that uh, there is a concept of faster than light travel. People are going to future, people are going to past. Okay. And using the concept of a time machine or faster than light travel technology. Anyway, in physics, same thing uh, is discussed. Yes, in physics, that theory is there. There is no practical evidence of this theory till date, okay. But uh, scientists, many scientists have proposed many theories regarding the possibility of faster than light travel. And if it really becomes possible to move faster than light, then maybe in future, uh, traveling to the uh, future or traveling to the past would become possible. Anyway, so, uh, for this concept of faster than light travel, one requirement is there and that requirement is the presence of exotic matter. In reality, there is no exotic matter. Scientists have not found any exotic matter. Question is, what is exotic matter? What is the nature of this? Exotic matter, uh, the, it is characterized by negative mass and negative energy density. Both are peculiar characteristics of matter. In, in our daily life experience, whatever we see around us are normal matter. Okay, but uh, this ma uh, negative mass, we are talking about right now negative mass, which is the characteristic of exotic matter and which is purely theoretical. Okay, purely the theoretical. Negative mass is what you know, uh, Newton's second law of motion, according to that, when force is uh, imparted on any body or any object, in that case, uh, there is a case of acceleration. And the matter or the object moves in the direction of the impressed force. That is known to you. But in case of negative mass, uh, the motion would occur in the opposite direction of the applied force. That is really peculiar. Okay, and uh, there is one more concept that is uh, negative energy density. Okay, both are the characteristic of uh, characteristics of exotic matter. One more thing is you know that uh, according to Newton's law of gravitation, uh, each and every particle of this universe are attracting each other. But uh, this exotic matter, this means uh, I am talking about that uh, negative mass that would repel the normal matter. Okay, all these things are theoretical models, theoretical, theoretical concepts. There is still no practical evidence. 
Anyway, one mathematical theory of this exotic matter, of this faster than light travel exotic matter, these things were proposed by Miguel Alcubar in the year 1994. Okay, means just uh, this is 2024, that means 30 years ago. That was proposed by the physicist Miguel Alcubar and that uh, technology, means that proposed technology is known as Alcubar warp drive. Yes, there are two concepts in theoretical physics. One is called warp drive and another one is called wormhole concept. Both are used uh, to travel to distant galaxies or uh, to, tra uh, to travel uh, the fast distances like interstellar distances, distance between any two stars. Those distances are fast distances that is known to you. So to travel those fast distances, these concepts are used. And of course, faster than light travel. Again, instant travel from one point in space time to another point in the space time instantaneously okay so uh, two concepts are there so this warp drive concept uh, that was proposed uh, means that was actually the mathematical model proposed by Alcubierre, uh, Miguel Alcubierre in 1994 and according to his theory there was requirement of exotic matter that concept was required exotic matter with such characteristics of negative mass and negative energy density. In the study of Casimir effect in quantum mechanics, you might have uh, found the concept of uh, negative energy density, though that is very small. Okay, if you consider the quantity, then that is very small. Anyway, that concept is there. Means in the study of Casimir effect, you would find uh, that term. Anyway, so we are talking about exotic matter, but uh, in reality there is no exotic matter and uh, our scientists are thinking that uh, to create or to discover exotic matter, enormous energy is required. And that, uh, that much energy, production of that much energy right now is beyond our current technologies. Okay. That is beyond our current technologies. All these things are theoretical. This means uh, that means all these things are highly speculative. Okay, maybe in future, yes, there is a possibility. In the minds of the physicists, there is a possibility. There is a chance that one day uh, we would become successful in the creation of in the creation of exotic matter. Okay, maybe. Uh, uh, really, uh, we can move faster than light. But such things are required and which is known as exotic matter. So, what is the uh, Alcubierre warp drive? Uh, there is a spacecraft. This is, uh, that is just the imagination or the concept behind this theoretical physics. Okay. There is a spacecraft and that spacecraft is surrounded by a warp bubble. But here manipulation is required, manipulation of space-time is required. You need to manipulate space-time in front of the uh, spacecraft in such a way that you can compress it. Means you would be able to compress the space-time in front of the spacecraft and just behind the spacecraft opposite phenomenon is required that is expansion of the uh, space-time. To manipulate space-time according to your uh, requirement, what is uh, one thing is required and that thing is known as exotic matter. Without the presence of exotic matter, you cannot do this thing. And if you can arrange this way, if you can uh, surround your spacecraft by your warp bubble, if you can arrange for exotic matter, then in that case, you need not to violate the concept that uh, nothing can move faster than light because within the space, uh, within the warp bubble, that concept won't be violated. Okay, that concept won't be violated within the warp bubble. 
And for the, that thing, what is required? You need to compress the space time in front of the spacecraft and you need to expand the space, uh, space time behind the, means at the rear part of the uh, spacecraft. So that is the concept behind Algebraic warp drive or it is also known as only warp drive. Okay. Alcubair warp drive that is named after the physicist Miguel Alcubair. And there is one more concept that is wormhole. You know that wormhole is a tunnel like structure. There are two mouths and uh, each mouth exists at different locations. Okay. And the two mouths are connected by a tunnel. But uh, according to general theory of relativity, uh, the stability of that tunnel is not possible unless if you use exotic matter. Only in the presence of exotic matter, uh, the stability of the tunnel is possible. So again, you need to arrange for exotic matter. And in that case, instantaneous travel from one mouth to another mouth would become possible. Instantaneous. Means elapsed time will be zero from one point of space time to another point of space time you could reach within no time but for the stability of the tunnel of the wormhole what is required requirement is exotic matter so i have uh, mentioned in the very beginning of this lecture that exotic matter is completely theoretical there is no existence even scientists uh, did not found, uh, find this exotic matter in laboratory, uh, laboratory experiments. Okay, this is purely theoretical. Anyway, scientists have found that there is a chance, there is a possibility uh, in the future of discovering such matter, which is uh, the nature of which is very peculiar. Anyway, so this was all about uh, the topic exotic matter and the future of uh, first of them light travel. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.